Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. My name is Reagan. if you are new here. So if you hear noise in the back, I'm sorry. Um, my husband has meetings all day on the phone. Everyone has told me, you know, that they're feeling it too. And my other videos were, we've kind of had the same issues. So yeah, uh, here we are trying our best. So today's video is all about my top 10 favorite lippies. So I recently reorganized and decluttered all of my lippies and I'm really happy because I got this acrylic tray, let's try and hold it up, a while back. And I usually store it, if I move this, I have this cabinet thing here and I usually store it up high there. I was just noticing when I was editing my videos how messy this looked and so I finally went through and decluttered it and I got rid of things that I've just had for a long time or don't use a lot and then I kept things that I like and I do use. So of the things I like and I do use, I went even further for this video and I picked the 10 things I just think are the best, my absolute favorites. I would highly recommend to you guys. And I've divided it into three categories. These are all lippies, but I divided it into lip glosses and balms, and then I did liquid lips, and then I did lipsticks. So we're just going to roll in and I will talk about why I like these products specifically. I'm wearing one today and yeah, we'll swatch and just kind of do a little chit chat. So we're just going to start with lipsticks first because they're what's right in front. So that's what we're gonna start with. I don't have these in any particular order. I just decided to divide this into subgroups because that's what I thought made the most sense. So I'll just start with Red Apple Lipstick Company. I really have liked their lipsticks. This shade that I picked out for today is Spice and Easy. It is a nude pink shade. I also really like their Chai Love You shade. It's really, really nice and neutral for basically any eye look you do. That's kind of the theme of a lot of the lips I picked today. There's a couple that are a little bit brighter, but I do like something that is a little bit more pinky nude and more neutral that can go with a lot of things. So that's what I do like about this Spice and Easy. I really like Red Apple's lipstick formulation because they also stain the lips. So it goes on, you know, like this creamy, and then it does stain the lips. So something, kind of nice because they're pretty long wearing as it fades, it fades into a stain rather than just like fades totally off your lips. So yeah, it is a formulation I like. It's a brand I like. I have a lot of their lipsticks. I Again, I picked this one because it's pretty similar to Chai Love You, which is another one I like. And then Spice and Easy is a great one. Too. All right. And then what I'm wearing today, I have really liked Kosa's Rose Water Lipstick. So I actually emptied out my full size of this and this is just a mini. I got this as like a GWP or something. I can't remember at this point, but I've really liked Rose Water. I just think it's a really nice pink shade. It's a nude pink and it's my favorite because it's the most versatile of their shades. It is for a cooler skin tone. The way that Kosa's lipsticks in general work are based off of skin tone. So if you have a cool undertone, they have certain shades. And if you have a warm undertone, they have certain shades. Something I didn't know until I kind of got more into their makeup line, I guess. And rose water is for someone who has a cooler undertone. That doesn't mean that if you have a warmer undertone that you can't use it, right? It just means that that's kind of how it was designed. I will say with Kosa's lipsticks, they aren't the longest wearing lipsticks. They don't stain the lips, but the way that they go on is really nice and creamy. They smell like vanilla and they've just been a really, I'm just looking at it now. It doesn't bleed into my lip lines. I have a couple of them. They've just been a nice lipstick. They're pretty glossy actually, or at least this one is the finish. I have liked Dark Room. I have Royal now, which I like as well. But Rosewater, just the shade of it is a favorite because it's really neutral and just easy to wear with almost anything. So that's why I wanted to mention it. And it has been a favorite of mine over the years. So these two were actually newer to me. So I picked YN Naturals lipstick because this is a new one to me within the last month or so. What I like about this shade is called Tono Grandina. If I said that wrong, sorry. But this one is more of a stain rather than an opaque lip. So it does 
have more of just a stain-like finish than an opaque creamy-like finish. But it does go on the lips very nice and smooth and it's just a nice deeper shade. Kind of gives you more of like a you just ate a popsicle look but it's a little bit deeper than that if you catch my drift. So I have liked this. It is just a little bit different. And yeah, it's just, again, it's one I've liked. And then I purchased this recently because someone recommended this brand to me. It's the Color the World lipsticks and I have Empowered. I also have another shade. What is the other shade I have? I think the other one, I'll look in my thing. This is Warrior. Why I picked Empowered as my favorite is because it's again, kind of like a pinky new shade. I love that, it's my favorite. And it stains the lips as well, like with the Red Apple Lipstick Co. lipsticks. Pretty long wearing because of that stain. And also they're very opaque and creamy. What's cool about the brand is not every lipstick they make, but a lot of their lipsticks, like this one, Empowered, I believe they donate money to people who have mental health issues if you purchase this empowered one. If you purchase Warrior, uh, the company donates to the Dis Disabled American Veterans Association. So just kind of cool, something, you know, different. And I really like the lipsticks. I hadn't heard much about this brand. I got these and I was really, really impressed. So yeah, this is a new favorite for me because I was really impressed with the formulation, the stain, the opaqueness how it wore, it's really creamy going on, just has a lot of good things going for it. And then it also does donate to other charities and things, which really adds to the brand for me. Next, we're going to just talk about liquid lips. So this has been a favorite of mine. I've loved this Aether Beauty Lip Cream in Inspire. So this is a strawberry-like color. This does stain the lips as well. And it goes on very creamy. It doesn't dry down matte or anything. It does stay kind of glossy. I wouldn't say it's really glossy, but it stays kind of glossy. And as it wears off, it is a stain underneath. So that's really nice. So I really, really like this. It's only available at Sephora, and I actually think they're sold out of this shade. It's a really good one, guys. I was very impressed with it. I got another shade of theirs, too, in Balance. Balance does not stain the lips like Inspire does. So just something to keep in mind. This one has been one I've loved. I think it looks really good with my skin tone. It can be really hard for me to find a good red lip. This may not be your favorite of a red lip, but it looked pretty good on me and I like how it kind of just brightens up my face. And if I add this and some mascara, I'm really good to go. So this has been a favorite of mine for sure. And then I have this one. This is kind of a ride or die type product. So this is the Cloven Halo Lip Velvet. This is a new shade from them. This is in Darling. And again, another pink nude. Clearly I have a theme with what I like. I really like the Cloven Hello Lip Velvets. They wear very, very nicely. They wear for a very, very long time. So this goes on pretty, I wouldn't say glossy, but it goes on more like a cream and then it dries to be more matte. They're really, really beautiful, long wearing. It's a great liquid lip. It's one of my favorites in Clean Beauty for sure, their formulation of their lip velvets. And I really have liked this Darling shade. The Darling one is newer to me. It just really kind of fits in with the color scheme I like. And hey, it's, it's a good one. And then this is kind of an interesting one that I put it in this category. So this is the Sappho Rita. This is their organic lip gloss. I was very surprised at how much I like this. And yes, it's a lip gloss, so it should probably go with the lip glosses and balms. But when I think of lip glosses and balms, I think of something that's a little bit more translucent. This one is pretty opaque. It's a glossy liquid lip lip gloss. That's, I actually think it's more of a glossy liquid lip because it is so opaque. And this is another one that it isn't quite a pink nude, but it's like two steps from being that. So it's this nice pinky shade. It's pretty neutral and it's nice and moisturizing on the lips. It doesn't dry out the lips. I've been super impressed with it. It has the doe foot application to it. With the opaqueness, how it wears, it's just a really nice one. It's a really good one and I was impressed with it. All right, and then the balms slash glosses. Some of you guys might be surprised, some of you guys might not. So I have really liked the Carrie Grand Lip Whip. So I have this one in the shade Rosy Gold. 
They smell like peppermint. It's a nice scent, I like it. So what I like about these is they're a lipstick blended with a lip balm. And what's kind of cool about that is just how they go onto the lips. So they're not super, super pigmented, especially the shade, it's a little bit more sheer, but they're really moisturizing and nourishing for the lips. And if you do get a deeper shade, which I used to have a deeper shade, but I just emptied it out, it is a little bit more pigmented. They're a little bit glossy, but they're not tacky or anything. None of these are tacky that I'm talking about because I do not like tacky lip products. So it's nice. It's just kind of like a tinted balm in a way, but it does have the lipstick formulation as well that's added to it. So it's just something a little bit different and I really have liked these. They've been something I've liked for a long time. And when I empty this out, because this one is due to be emptied out or decluttered December of 2020, that's when the expiry date is, I would repurchase another one. And then this is Fit Glow Beauty's Lip Serum in Nudie. I have liked Nudie and I have liked Go. I've tried Gleam. Gleam is not the same in pigmentation as Nudie or Go. Nudie is their top selling one, I've heard. And it's just a good one. It's super pigmented. It feels nice on the lips. It's really different. It is a lip serum. It feels like, I'm trying to think. It feels like a lip mask in a way, but it's just so nourishing. It's beautifully pigmented. It's a really nice neutral, nudie pink shade and I would recommend it. They're expensive, I like them though. And if I like something that's expensive, I'm fine with paying for it. And if it works for me, I'm fine with paying that much for it. And then last but not least, this is one I've been surprised that I've liked a lot. This is the Kosas Sport. This is their Pulse Hyaluronic Lip Balm. I actually was gifted this by my friend Serene. And I didn't really want to buy this when they came out because I was just like, whatever, another tinted lip balm. Like everyone has a tinted lip balm, every brand does. But this one is different. It's very pigmented for what it is. And I have the shade Pulse. There is another one that's tinted and then there's one that's clear. If you're going to purchase these, I would actually recommend buying Pulse because you do get that tinted lip balm, but it's also more like a lip color rather than just like a moisturizing lip balm, but it's still moisturizing and it's still a lip balm. So it's just cool, it's different just how the packaging is in the shape. This one also smells like peppermint. It's just a good one. I have really enjoyed it. I've liked how pigmented it is and I've been impressed with that because a lot of times tinted lip balms are very sheer in pigmentation and this one's not. Alrighty y'all, so let me know down below if you've tried any of these lippies. Let me know what your favorite lippy is. I still have a lot that I really, really like. It was kind of hard to narrow down, but then it's also easy because I do know like, okay, Fit Glow Lip Serum, probably always going to be a favorite because it's just such a different formulation. I knew that Red Apple Lipstick, they just have a really good lipstick formulation. Um, Kosas, they've been a long time thing that I've really liked. Aether, that lip cream's just been one I've repeatedly put in Top Shelf Tuesdays and I've liked over and over. Cloven Hello, Lip Velvets, I knew that was something I liked. Then some of the other ones, Kerry Grand's been a favorite as well. The Kosas has been a new favorite. The Sappho, I was kind of surprised by myself by thinking like, yeah, that actually is a favorite because it is different because usually lip glosses are so sheer and the Safa one isn't. It's just really opaque and I like that. Um, yeah, so that's just kind of my thoughts on everything all. Let me know again if you have a favorite, maybe you don't like something, let us know in the comments down below. And thank you guys so much for stopping by the channel. I hope you enjoyed this video and have a wonderful day or as wonderful of a day as you can possibly have. And I will see you guys tomorrow.